hey everybody welcome to my channel for those joining us for the very first time welcome y'all welcome my name is Orlunda today to the T of me filming marks the one year anniversary of my mom's passing when she went to sleep in waiting for the Lord's return um, and instead of doing something really sad because I spent my morning already crying I decided to do something fun that makes me remember her and because I've shared with you her passing and all of that I wanted to do something a little bit different that would be fun so in this video we're going to do a mom tag and I researched a few questions um, on Google and I will tell you a few things about my mom and this will be that fun type of fun video. I really hope you enjoy this. So I, I monitored the question down on my phone and it's just going to be 10 questions. Right, let's get started. The first question is um, earliest memory you remember of your mom. The one that always sticks out is literally my sister and I, like we're so close in age. And we we're so close since we we're young my mom always dressed us in similar clothing like we were always doing just... that's literally the earliest memories of my mom that i always remember it's us my sister and i always wearing the same color same clothes same dresses and my sister didn't even like half the things that my mom put us in because she doesn't like like um multi colors She's a one color type of person, but my mom is like a very flowery, multicolor person. So she put us in the same clothes, pink and blue and flowers together, the same clothes all the time. Um, she always said that that always made it easy for her because then she didn't have to worry about who she got this one a little bit better than the other one. It made it easy for her to shop. That was always her excuse. The tears are already coming and I'm literally one sentence in. Okay. A little longer than a few minutes later. The one story about your childhood your mom never forgot. The one she'll always tell is um, that when I was young she didn't think I would ever talk because I did not talk, say a word until I was four years old. And then she would always mention how the one time I was really naughty and they were in the kitchen with friends. And I went into her room and I played with her ba baby powder, spread it all over my face, took the Vaseline, spread it all over myself, and then took her underwear and put it literally right here. <laughs> put it on my head and apparently I walked out to them and she was so embarrassed. I even like you know where it's the inside out and the center part of the 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 panty is like here that is the one it does apparently literally yeah she never made me forget that part she was just like you were that child who took my and i don't know why on that day you decided and because you did not talk you was it was you're always so quiet i didn't even know what you were up to and too busy having a good time in the kitchen you came out there with my underwear on your head <laughs> Anyway, that's the fun thing I always remember. That story about my childhood that she she never forgets. That that she never forgot. Like I go, I heard that so many times, and she always says like she hope when I was when you when I become a mom, my 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 cub would do the same thing to me. Thank God he hasn't done something like that. I would literally have a heart attack. But yeah, he hasn't done something like that yet. <laughs> I hope he doesn't do it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Even thinking about it. What was your relationship with your mom like? My mom and I relationship really evolved um, over the years. We went from daughter, mom to very good friends. The thing is, with my mom at the time, it, growing up in the 80s and 90s, as much as she was a very traditional mom, she it's like she raised us so different. I, I could always have an opinion and like the older i got the more like we just became closer and closer like she could be my confidant literally i could tell my mom anything 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 oh that boy oh this oh yesterday i was feeling oh i could literally tell her 
anything and she wouldn't judge me she would just look at me and literally give me proper like advice as best as she could and the nice thing i liked about my relationship with my mom is that she had the same relationship with most of my friends or like all of my friends is that one thing they would tell her if they ever had to testify on my channel about about my mom is that the one thing people always say is that oh my gosh she made me feel so like i could just be myself around her and not pretend and she would still be okay she knew like we were young and we trying to experiment with things and she would still be accepting while trying to give us advice and warn us what to stay away from and so that was the relationship that we had i know with all my siblings every relationship was a little bit different but that was the one my mom and i had and i went from seeing her superwoman to just human but still inhuman and flawed as she is i respected a lot of her decisions and i and there was never a time where i thought she didn't have the best intentions of me growing up even maybe in the situation when i was young i thought ah it wasn't the best idea for you or how could she but because we dealt with all these issues growing like over the years as an adult it just make my adult life a little bit um better and also it didn't so much of the childhood trauma wasn't brought into my adulthood because we were able to deal with it over the years if that makes any sense was there something you wanted to do with her and didn't get a chance to yes off the bed i mean when the moment the question i wrote the question and i was like Oh yeah, that makes sense. I really wanted to bring her onto my channel and do like a mom, uh, mom and daughter tag, do her makeup, and I wanted to do an Oshuambo tag with her. It would have been fun if I did it with her so she can laugh at me and my Oshuambo, and I and we could just have so much fun on here. But I didn't get a chance to do that. Uh, yeah. What was the most trouble I got into? <sighs> what was the most trouble I got into? The fact that we used to climb so much and our yards were made of like uh, wood and you could literally walk from one end of the, the, the street with like 24 houses in like back to back and so you can walk between those wooden fences to one end to the other and we used to do that a lot with my friends and so I would always come home with scratches because I fell from some yard or the other because we were trying to compete and jumping fences and so always had scratches and she just they never understood that story about me coming home like you already why are you still up there the only instance i remember really where she like i think i really pissed my mother off most of the non that day was it's like i think i was like six and i was sick from school so i was staying home and my mom was busy doing something inside the house i was bored and then decided to go explore outside my dad had built this shade net type of structure for us where we could play under because if it became so hot um he didn't like it when we just stay in the open so you could go in that shade and play nice open shade and i decided to climb on top of that thing that is almost as high as the roof and then in my climbing down i spotted her and then i fell literally from there to the ground whoa i scared the living tailors out of her and then she gave me a hiding for falling and then took me to the hospital. <laughs> but I was fine. I was fine. Ah, that's funny. The one thing that I know my mom secretly loved was the fact that I always used to tell her I'm her baby I'm her baby girl because I'm the younger between my sister and I and I would just be there hugging her trying to sit in her lap every time and you'd be like get off of me and your things <laughs> even as an adult I didn't care every time I see her, I'll just be there trying to hug her all the time trying to sit in her lap um, trying to put my head on her boobies and yeah my son does almost the same thing now, which also sometimes is annoying, but I love it secretly also. <laughs> oh, happy memories. 
I missed that part about it. Anyway, anything that I loved, that, that I thought, that I found annoying, that I secretly loved was the fact that she couldn't, she always yelled at me for not calling her every day. Like, she needed me to talk to her every day. Because my sister is not in the country, and so she was like, you're the closest link, so you must call me every day. <laughs> And if I didn't call her, she would call me the name be like, why did you not call me this morning? Even if she doesn't have a story to tell me. And because I'm like, why are you calling me? We just spoke yesterday. But I loved it. <laughs> I do. Probably be the thumbnail of this video. That would be the, oh, I'll put it here or here somewhere. But it would probably be the thumbnail of this video. This is how close knit with Isn't my mom, my dad, and my siblings sitting around the kitchen table? It always has to be the kitchen. And us drinking wine or whatever each person is drinking or eating. And we are sitting around there and we are having random conversations. Usually, my dad at the, the head of the table and us all around, and my mom on the other side, and then we are all around the table. It's, it's just it's like the one memory it doesn't matter how much we changed over the years the kitchen seems to be the place that we used to come together i think it's because of the tradition of my dad always making us eat together at the kitchen table so that became the one place that we somehow just gravitated towards and that's like our gathering one person will sit there the other person will join and then you just see the whole table is full of everybody we are there drinking whatever you're drinking a glass of wine you're drinking coffee if we're eating we're eating We'll, we'll have random conversations, make jokes, talk about very serious stuff and then somehow we always start, my dad will think about a song or my younger brother and then he'll start singing and then we all start singing and then it just turned into a singing situation and I feel like even if I had to ask my siblings, it'd probably be one of the one thing that everybody remembers all the time, the, this, us, all of us together all the time because we just love it like that and the best conversations and getting to know each other and what everybody's up to always happens in those moments. The one thing you remember her being part of you for? Um, the one thing... There's a couple, but I'm just going to point out the one thing is the kind of mother I am to my son. That was the one thing that she told me she was really proud of towards the last times. One thing you and your mom had in common. My mom and I, we are, I think we are more, ah, uh, we are, my mom and I were really alike in a lot of things. It's like, we almost like the same thing all the, like, it's very weird. Uh, we liked the same things. I would have a hairstyle that she would like and then she wants to try it. When I made, had my wigs, she also wants a wig. We were the same, um, size shoe and I literally wore shoes that she could wear because my sister love heels. I'm the only person who really likes flats. So my mom would take my flats. And I loved the shoes that she wore so we would constantly swap. And I loved the clothes that had dresses, the very flowery dresses. And then I would take one of her flowery dresses. We were very alike and we almost like similar things, me and her. And then the last one is one thing you would have wanted to tell her. The one thing I would have wanted to tell her at the end, not that she didn't know, was I feel like she knew it already. It's just I love you and goodbye. That's basically all I would have said. Like we love you. And goodbye. And if you see dad, don't shock him too much because you went a little bit too early. <laughs> that would have been the one thing. One thing I always think about when I think about my parents. Uh, because my dad went before my mom. Like he passed like six months before. Like I always see this. I don't know why. It's the one picture I always see all the time. Is that my dad turning around and seeing my mom on the other side. And be like, what happened? I left you with a kid. <laughs> And then she'd be like, but you left first. I can see that arguing, that argument happening. Um, 
And so I always think about please don't be arguing wherever you are. <laughs> Yeah, but that was that. In all in all, this was fun, therapeutic. So for the first anniversary of my mom's passing, I'm really glad I did this because for the amount of crying I did, I'm glad I'm laughing about this so that it can lighten my day. But I just wanted to share it with you guys as well because I thought it would be fun to film and also I don't want to regret not having this type of memories to look back on. If you're hearing all the cars, I'm so sorry. I'm sitting close to a window and I just thought this lighting would look so cool. And I didn't want it to be too like behind the desk formal like I will do with my makeup. But I really hope you enjoyed this because I really did. <sighs> More of a tag. Please don't forget to like guys this video and to also leave your comment. And yeah. Shame. It is sad to have lost, but it was still a great joy to have them, both of them. Um, yeah, it still was. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.